Hello guys, welcome to Photography Academy. So in this tour, we're going to walk you through on how you can report your images professionally in minutes. Okay, so we're going to be using this awesome plugin called Will Touch for Me. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving out a lot, okay, a free lot that we will be using in this image. So the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this image. Okay, I have a copy of it. So come to my filters, go to my retouch for me. Here. So take care of the blemishes on the image. So as you can see, if I just reduce the sensitivity, you can see the blemishes on this image. But, but I want to remove all. If you reduce it, it will be reducing the blemishes that it will be taking care of in this image. But I want to remove all. So I'm, I'm going to keep it to 100. So and apply. So if I zoom in, you can see the difference. Look at the before. Look at the after, look at the before, look at the after. Amazing, it has taken care of my wishes. So I'm then going to create a stamp variable layer again to enable me to apply another filter, control, control, shift, alt, e. Okay, so um, I'll cut my filter, the touch for me, dodge and bone. I'm just going to apply my dodge and bone. So look at that. So apply my dodge and bone. Let me increase it so that you can see the effects. Apply. So come to my blending option. Choose soft right. Okay. Now look at before. Look at the after. Look at before. Look at after. You could see that it has successfully done a micro dodge and bone for me on, on this image. Look at before. Look at the after. So I'm still going to create my stamp visible here again. Control Shift E. So come to my filter, come to my retouch for me, come to my portrait program. Yeah, so we can see I'm, I'm just going to increase it so that the effect will be much. Look at that. Call to my blending option, change it to soft right. Okay, reduce the if you feel it's too much, you can reduce it. So look at before, look at the after. Okay, so look at the before of this image. Look at the after. So I'm up successfully retouch this image with just few clicks. Okay, look at the before, look at the after, look at the before, look at the after. So I'm going to apply my rods that will be given for free that we have created for this tutorial. I will, I will be giving it out for free in this video. So check the video description to download the rods. Okay, so I'll just come to my adjustment layer, come to my Color lookup, road rods. So I'm just choosing this red skin. Rot, okay. So look at that. I'm I'm not going to reduce the effect. The feeling the effect is too much as well. I'm just going to reduce it. Look at before, look at after. What if we want to apply a dark skin rod? Let's see how it works on it. The same process. Dark chocolate wood. Look at that. So I think I prefer this. So look at that. Look at before. Look at the after. The before, the after. You can still reduce it if you feel it's too much. So look at the before, look at the after, the before, the after. So this is how you can retouch your image very parts using Retouch for me bucket. So if you have not purchased yours, please do make sure you do that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notification button to get notified each time we drop a new video. Thank you.